In this video, I'm going to show you how to write data into Cassandra using Pentaho data integration. First, I'm going to create a key space in Cassandra to hold the data that we're going to be writing. So I'm going to start the command line interface and create a key space called demo. Okay, we've got a key space. Now we can uh, write some data into it. Now we're going to use Pentaho data integration to load data into Cassandra. So I'm going to create a new transformation. We can load data from all kinds of different sources, applications, flat files, databases, uh, other big data solutions. In this case, we're going to use a text file because it's a simple example. So I'm going to drag a text file input step onto my canvas here. I'm going to double click to open its properties and then browse to find a text file. In this case, we're going to use the page successions file. I add that to my list of files. We can then jump to the fields tab and PDI will go into the text document to find out what fields are available inside of the text file. We can preview those and we'll see that the data we're dealing with is about uh, website traffic and the number of times that users traveled from any one part of the website to any other page within the website. And we have this special token called first page, which just represents a landing page within the website where the user didn't come, uh, wasn't navigating within the site. They were just starting uh, their first their first page within the website. And we also have this column called key, which gives us a unique key um, that represents any one transition within the website. So I can close this and say OK to close my uh, text file input step. Now we need a Cassandra output step. So I'm going to drag the Cassandra output step from the palette. I'm going to connect it to my text file input. Double click to edit the properties. I'm using the default local um, installation, so I don't need the authentication information. Our key space is demo. It's a new column family, so it doesn't exist yet. We're going to truncate this column family and update the column family metadata um, every time we execute this in the future. We need to know what the key field is, so we're going to use this button to get the fields from the previous step. And here's our unique key field. So here we have our configured Cassandra output step. So now we can run our transformation. When we, uh, when we do this, it's going to ask us if um, we want to save the transformation. I'm going to call it Populate Cassandra Page Successions. Hit Save. And now the transformation will execute, and we can see the progress down the bottom here. If you have any errors in your transformation, if any of these lines light up in red, you can click on the Logging tab to see what those errors are. So now that we've run our transformation, we can go over to the Cassandra command line interface to see what data we have in our column family. I've authenticated to the Keyspace demo, and I'm going to request one of the uh, page succession entries. And there we have it. There's one of the, the entries that was loaded using a PDI into the Cassandra column family. That was a quick video on how to write data into Cassandra using Pantaho data integration.